What's going on now? Good day. I want to talk about how you're being raised. Um, and the reason why I thought about how you're being raised is because I think about the urban community and I think about how knowledge is not valued in the urban community. And I never understood why my father used to make a, a, a huge deal about how you're being raised, your upbringing, and the kind of parents you have. But I understand now why he always made, um, why he always made such a big deal about parenting and how you're being raised because people become like the people that they're raised by. Like my dad always said, you are what you come from. And if you're raised by idiots, don't fault yourself if you grow up to be one. Um, when you have a culture that doesn't glorify knowledge, that doesn't glorify wisdom and understanding, you will be dumb to a lot of things. Um, I think to myself, had my father raised me, I believe I would have had a clear understanding about life by the time I was a teen. My understanding about life would have been very clear. Um, you got, you know, it's very important of the kind of, the kind of parents you have is very important. I'll just put it that way. Unfortunately, we can't choose our parents, but, um, you want to have parents that are rooted in reality, parents that prepare you to be successful because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Uh, my uncle's a lawyer. My dad is a master electrician, uh, but it, it goes back to how they were raised, even though my grandfather was a hellion, but um, he and his wife, he and, he and my grandmother, they raised some very successful children. And it, it goes back to that upbringing and what you instill in your children. But in the urban communities, we don't, the only thing that's instilled into these kids is uh, religion a lot of times. And, 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 and I'll even talk about the inner cities. A lot of these kids in the inner cities, the kids, you know, these kids in the hood, they're being raised by the OGs and, you know, people out in the street. These, these children in the hood, they're not being raised by their mothers and fathers. And when you have uh, a community of people that are not raised right, this is why the delinquency is at an all-time high. Um, how you're being raised, what you're being taught, plays a, a big role. Um, and... It's unfortunate when you don't have, you know, when if you're not born to parents that have their head on right. You know, um, I'm thankful enough that I had one parent that had uh, some brains. I had one parent that came from, you know, uh, a solid foundation. Um, don't beat yourself up if you didn't have a solid foundation because a lot of us didn't, especially in the urban communities. Uh, a lot of these children are not being raised right. When you got little kids singing Pound Town and rapping at four and five years old, what type of future people do you think that's going to produce? That's just food for thought. Um, it's sad when you just have a culture that just glorifies degeneracy. It doesn't glorify anything positive. It's just all negative, and that's a problem. And that's something that needs to really be rectified because I never thought about it myself, but I see exactly why my father always stressed about the kind of parents you have and the upbringing you have and the things that you're taught and the things that you're exposed to. I even truly believe that um, the state that you were born and raised in shapes your personality as well. Uh, because, if, you know, for instance, if you're a, a person who was born in Atlanta, you're going to have a certain, you know, 
a cultural. You're going to have a certain cultural uh, attitude. If you're a person that's born in Oregon, you're going to have a certain cultural attitude. Or if you're a person that's born in California or New York, you're just going to have a certain personality and a certain value system that's going to be shaped by the state that you were born in. I even truly believe that location matters a lot when it comes to a, a person's development. But unfortunately, you can't control what state you were born in. Um, I, 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 I truly believe that I shouldn't have been born, you know, where I was born. I believe I would have been better off being born somewhere else. But unfortunately, we, we can't control that. Um, sometimes I think I probably would have been better off had I been born in Oregon or even maybe California. Uh, but I don't, I don't know for sure, but, um, you know, location does play a big factor in, um, you, you know, the way you are in, in, in your, uh, thought process and value system. It's, I just truly feel that kids who are born to parents that value knowledge, value education, those kids are going to do well. You know, they're, they're going to they're going to they're going to excel. They're not going to have a lot of challenges, you know, because it's all about that guidance. And in the urban communities, sadly, a lot of children are not being given guidance. I, I, I've i seen these videos of little kids rapping and, you know, flashing money and, and pulling out guns and stuff. And I'm like. This is th this is the preparation that these parents are giving their kids. When you see little boys rapping and flashing money and pulling out guns, it was a video that I saw. When you see kids doing that, at, these, these little boys look like they may have been seven or eight years old, nine years old. What type of future generations do you think that's going to produce? More, more, more delinquency. More degeneracy. And... I see why it's very important to have parents that got some sense and to be raised, you know, with knowledge. Being raised by parents that give you knowledge and parents that's giving you wisdom to be prepared for this world out here. That's what kids need to be given. But unfortunately, you know, a lot of kids are not being given that. Um, it's unfortunate, especially in, 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 in our communities. Um, you know, some, some studying, like my dad always says, some studying need to be going on. Some math need to be going on. Some reading needs to be going on. Something to exercise your mind. Sitting around listening to some rap music all day and watching rap videos, that's not going to do it. But um, I see how important it is for children to have um, parents that got their head on right and for parents to be and for children to be given knowledge. That's why some kids, you'll wonder why they're so smart and why they're so advanced for their age, because of how they're being reared, the parents they have and the teachings that they are given. There are some little children that are very bright and brilliant. They're, they're, they're knowledgeable about a lot of things early in life, and it's because of their rearing, the kind of parents they have. You know, this is, this is why I stress you want to have parents that have more to offer than just a Bible. I'll just put it like that. You want parents that have more to offer than just a Bible because if a Bible and some religious doctrine if that's all pa uh, uh, your parents have to give, that's not going to prepare you for this world. This world is an evil, cold, dark place. And you got to be prepared for it. My father even told me, you don't wait to game day to prepare. He got me to really understand that. Your preparation for life starts when you're a kid. But you like my dad always stated, you got to be raised by some people with some knowledge to prepare you for what you're going to have to 
face when you become an adult. And like my dad always stated, when you become an adult, that's the real test of life. Being able to take care of yourself and provide for yourself. But it all, but this, th these foundations all start young. And it's just unfortunate that a lot of children weren't given these foundations, these, these, these standards. You know, you know, because I, I think, you know, parents, they parents are the ones who set the standard for their children. But in, 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 in a lot of our communities, sadly, no standard is being set. But uh, that's what I wanted to talk about for right now. You guys have a great Monday. Um, felt this would be a good topic to talk about. Have more content coming soon. Um, how you're raised <laughs> is, is very crucial to your development. But um, you guys have a good day. Talk to you soon.